We're here with Karen Stolzno. She's the author of Language, Myths, Mysteries, and Magic. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. How are you? I am well. So in your book, Language, M Myths, Mysteries, and Magic, mm -hmm. uh, you discuss some of the common beliefs related to language um, that are false, uh, mm -hmm. some common misconceptions, uh, you, you might say. Um, can you give us a preview of what that might be? Oh, I cover about, uh, I've got about 25 chapters, so 25 different topics, but I think uh, probably among the most common would be something like graphology, the idea that uh, you can interpret uh, personality through someone's handwriting. Uh, there are also some claims nowadays that if you want to change your life, you can change your handwriting style. Uh, so if you want to improve your health, uh, or if you just want to change personality traits, then you just change the way that you write. Oh, that, yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Lots of crazy ideas out there about language. Well, I actually did an investigation years ago, and uh, I was with a graphologist, and I submitted two samples of handwriting. Um, one was mine, and the other, other was supposedly that of my boyfriend, but it was actually me. So both handwriting styles were mine. And uh, the graphologist really interpreted content more than anything else. So she looked at the things that I had written about. With one of them, I'd written about uh, puzzles and riddles, and so she said that you're a very, you're a problem-solving person. Uh, and you're very analytical. Uh, and with another, I think I was talking about art and drama. Uh, so she said that uh, my boyfriend was a very artistic type. So it was just looking at the content rather than looking at the handwriting style clearly. Sure, yeah, well, I mean, what else are they gonna look at, really? Yeah, yeah, and there's just no evidence that um, your handwriting can uh, reveal health. Uh, there are a few claims uh, with things like hypographia, uh, if you write, if you have a very ha large handwriting style, it gets bigger. That can be a symptom of uh, Parkinson's disease. But there are very few illnesses that can be detected through handwriting. And so I guess the, the, the pseudo claimants will take something that is narrowly uh, true and then try to expand on it. Try to it. extrapolate that and say that it's, you can detect, um, there's a woman called Christine Strang who says that you can tell if someone has had a heart attack or is going to have a heart attack. And, just on the basis of her studies, there's no evidence for that. How did you become a paranormal investigator? Well, I used to uh, work for an organization back in Australia. Um, I was uh, brought on board uh, by a, a chief investigator um, who was doing a, writing a book about alternative medicine and he wanted to know uh, if a lot of these therapies worked or not. So uh, he brought me on board and he wanted me to go and visit a, an aura reader and an iridologist um, and a homeopath and a naturopath and to go and visit them and say, I just want to get a consultation and see, get a clean bill of health. And all of these people told me that uh, I had various conditions, that I had a liver condition uh, or a thyroid condition and, and other claims uh, on the basis of their uh, their consultations with me and then I went and saw a medical doctor and he ran a, a battery of tests and he said they're they're all inaccurate everything that they've said is, is not true uh, so uh, that got me started into paranormal investigations from that point uh, and, and pseudoscientific investigations from that point people started suggesting ideas to me and uh, I, I had one person say you should try and get a job as a psychic so uh, I applied for a job which I saw online uh, looking for psychics in Australia for an American company called Absolutely Psychic. And uh, so I, they put me through a, a series of tests to see if I was really psychic or not and they claimed that they only hire 1% of applicants. Uh, and so I did a phone reading, uh, I did a chat room reading and an email reading and just using aspects of the four effect or the Barnum effect, just giving generalizations and knowing some details about the people I was um, speaking with, I just did a cold reading, really, uh, and with a hot reading uh, where I could, and was offered a job, and I'm a skeptic, I'm not a psychic. 